All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate it. We've got the latest update for FSD beta 10.8.1, which is a step beyond the previous release, which was 10.8. Uh, we're going to jump into the release notes and then we're going to do our quick little test drive to see what's changed, see how it's improved or regressed in certain instances. Stay tuned. We're back 10.8.1 FSD beta. What you first have here is the suspension update. So they reset people who have had suspensions or who've had little dings against the suspension uh, in terms of being forced autopilot disengagements. They reset it back to zero. Uh, and then in certain instances, depending on your car, you may have gotten a, an additional allowance because of the sensitivity of it. So maybe on Model 3 or Model Y, they get five opportunities for forced engagements, whereas the Model S plaid and maybe even model x in this instance uh get three forced disengagements before you're actually suspended from using fsd beta in this particular car what that looks like here really quickly is when you go here autopilot and then you say fsd beta or full self-driving beta and it tells you if autopilot is disabled three times due to improper use fsd beta will no longer operate this vehicle has not yet had any such events so we've not had any any events like that uh so far uh fingers crossed uh, but hopefully for those that have had dings or had forced disengagements count against them, uh, they'll not have that reset for them. So that's a cool thing. And then we actually have the release notes themselves. The release notes for FSD beta 10.8.1. It says improve object attributes network to reduce false cut ins, slowdowns by 50 percent and lane assignment error by 19 percent. Improve photon to control vehicle response latency by 20 percent on average. Expanded use of regenerative braking and autopilot slowdown from zero miles an hour for smoother stops and improved energy efficiency. Improved VRU, pedestrians, bicyclists, motorists, animals, lateral velocity by 4.9% by adding more auto labeled and simulated training examples to the data set. Reduced false slowdowns for crossing objects by improved velocity estimates for objects at the end of visibility. Reduce false slowdowns by adding geometric checks to cross validate lane assignments of objects. Improve speed profile for unprotected left turns when visibility is low. Added more natural behavior to bias over bike lanes during right turns. Improve comfort when yielding to jaywalkers by better modeling of stopping region with soft and hard deadlines. Improved smoothness for merge control with better modeling of merge point and ghost objects positioned at edge of visibility. Improved overall comfort by enforcing stricter lateral jerk bounds in trajectory optimizer. Improved short deadline lane change through richer trajectory modeling. Improved integration between lead vehicles overtake and lane change gap selection. Updated trajectory line visualization, okay? So that's just giving you the latest updates. Some of them are repeats from the last update, 10.8. Some of them are adjustments to the last updates in 10.8 in terms of, you know, something like 20% as opposed to 19% in the last one. So again, just making small tweaks and adjustments. We'll see how they play out when we actually go on our route. All right, so that's pretty much it in terms of FSD beta. I don't see anything else in this particular uh, release that's gonna tell us that there's something new, no new visualizations. This is all the same from last time. Um, the cabin camera is here as well. And then we have track mode uh, on this one. We'll do a separate video for track mode because we're not in the right place to be able to do that. But we'll do a separate video for track mode. Uh, but this is just focusing today on full self-driving beta 10.8.1. All right, so let's go, let's take it for a ride out. Let's do the same course that we typically do when we get new releases. We have not done a camera calibration or recalibration, if you will. We're gonna let it go as is and see what it yields us. And again, we'll try to give it as much room and, and freedom to do its thing as possible and then intervene as needed. All right, so I'm gonna pull out. Uh, I find that all versions are pretty aggressive when pulling out of driveways. So I'm gonna pull out myself just to make sure there's no issue. And then I'll engage. Right here. Quick 
creeping up a little slow. Very slow. Then pulls out, not bad, not great either. I'll rest my hand on the wheel on this one, but again, I'll give it some leeway to do its thing on turns. In 500 feet, turn right onto Llewellyn Road. Let's see what happens with this right turn. Uh, if it goes over the white line again, if it goes wide, looks like it wants to go over the white line again. A little uncertain right now. Makes the turn pretty good, slow, but pretty good. But it seemed a little uncertain, uh, a little unsure, just the feeling I'm getting right now as it drives. Still puts on a turn signal right here for some odd reason. Not sure why. Uh, it's a straight road, even though it's windy. Slows down and kind of goes over the line. There's a little bit of a line. It's faint, but it's there. And here goes the unprotected left. That should... Uh, Hopefully be a little bit better, potentially. Let's see what happens. Still waiting its turn. Lots of cars coming, still waiting its turn. There is an opening. It's not going to take it. I'm going to give it a little bit of acceleration. Doesn't seem to want to take it. And now the coast is clear. It's going wide. I'm giving it some acceleration and now it's going. So still some uncertainty here. I don't know what it is. It's still some uncertainty. I wanted to go wide. I wanted to go left, then right. Um, lots of hesitation. Did not really seem eager to try to get in there or to go even when the coast was clear and I needed to give it a little bit of acceleration. So that's not too great. Not really a regression, it's kind of the same as it was before. Uh, so at least it's consistent in that regard, but not better either. I'll go a little faster to 30. Still slows down a little bit too much for turning cars. Uh, there's, there's sort of a uh, sort of a projection of where it thinks a car is going to go when it makes a turn, and it kind of gives it the entire way to go all the way over, and then it starts to accelerate. So you slow down quite a bit behind turned cars. This is pretty good. Um, FedEx truck is hanging out a little bit. We'll see how it deals with that. Hopefully it just goes right around it, no problem. But it is hanging out a little bit. It's going a little fast. It does adjust a little bit over. Bias is a little bit over, so that was pretty good. Then again, just tries to center itself. Again, I should just try to predict that there are cars on the side of the road and just make a new lane that goes straight as opposed to trying to center itself at every gap where there aren't any cars. It's actually not stopped. My foot is not on the, on the accelerator, but it's actually not stopped, so the hold isn't on, which is kind of odd. I want to hover over the brake just in case it tries to do something unpredictable, but it's not completely stopped. It's at zero miles an hour, but it's not in hold. So you're trying to center itself in this really wide lane, just make a lane and then stick to it. Closer to the yellow line, the better, especially when we know parked cars are ahead. It can see that and now it adjusts right now. It should just do that 
by default. It shouldn't try to center itself in a really, really wide lane like that. Braking is much improved using regen, I, I will say. Same as last version, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit smoother even on this one. It's much improved, this version, uh, with the regen braking slowing down as opposed to the friction brakes, which are a little bit aggressive or were aggressive prior to these builds with the regen braking. Otherwise, this is pretty smooth. Let's see what happens here, see if it uh, makes me go around this truck or wait for it. Looks like it's gonna wait for it. And then we're gonna go to a railroad crossing, which should be pretty cool. Um, it hopefully it doesn't come down on us uh, or come down right before we get to it. Recognize the signs on the ground. Doesn't really recognize the lights when they're not active. And pretty much just goes. All right, so it slowed down because my destination was right on the right there. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's that's 10.8.1 right now. We'll do further subsequent uh, drives as well. Something more complex, something more challenging. But this is just sort of the baseline drive to kind of see where uh, this version has gone, has it regressed, is it better, so on and so forth. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you got 10.8.1, is it better, is it worse? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? What is your feedback on it? As we all await the much anticipated 10.9, which should be coming out uh, end of this week or next week, potentially, according to Elon. Until the next time, enjoy your day, enjoy your Tesla.